Not a tired boy. With eye gobers. Are we gonna go for a walk up north today? Are we gonna go move the deer stand and go see some birds? Look at this guy. You gonna sniff some birds today? Whoa. So, Mac and I are headed up north to our hunting ground that we go to. What, I'm buckled. Oh, you're not buckled up. Why aren't you buckled, buddy? You're such a load. <laughs> He's just so chunky that you need a seatbelt on. Uh, Mac and I are going up north to the area where we deer hunt. I have been in a spot the last two years there on opening weekend where I've really liked the cover that's there. I've liked that it's right next to a wetland and then inland from it is a little higher up and it's just really thick and not quite as deery, but it opens up down where I want to go. So I really want to move my solo stand, my permanent solo stand that's been up there for a long time. And I just haven't used it the last few years because I've been using my portable down, down in this new spot. So go up there, put some work in, get it, uh, get it out of there and lug it through the woods and I'll throw all this thick wood down to the new spot. It'll be a it'll be grueling but it'll be worth it. Along the way Mac can practice his scent training from last year and spooks up a few grouse. That'd be nice. I'm counting on you buddy. give me very much personal space while we're driving. It's just what he's always done. Right, buddy? Mm. No way. All right, come on, buddy. Well, that didn't go so hot. I uh, didn't think the snow was gonna be so deep up here and slushy. So just spent about 45 minutes getting the car unstuck. Driving back the mile or so is not an option. So today is going to be a walking day. Fun. What do you smell? Oh, this would have been a nightmare. Good thing I stopped and turned around. There we go, Woodcock. That's good, I needed him back on that scent. Ooh, I heard it, buddy. I heard it, you smell it. Just had one flush from back in here. These porcupines are really doing a number on these trees. Not big fans of the porcupines around here. Where are we, buddy?
We're home sweet home. Yeah. Water's not frozen anymore. Sweet. Okay. Are you excited? We're gonna be walking through the snow all day. You're gonna be so gassed. You don't even know. So we're going about three quarters of a mile back in this way to grab my stand. Then we're gonna take it through the thick of the woods, about half mile through the woods at least, over to a nice little low area over there. Now, you think every dog in the world wants to play with you. Come here. Now, if we see a wolf, that dog is not gonna wanna play with you. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at you go! Hey! Settle. <laughs> Are you good? Calm down. Hey! Settle. I'll take it off. Huh. That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Good boy. Drop. Drop. Good boy. Drop. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, stop. What the hell? That's so weird. I wonder if it smacked the side of the cabin. That is so strange. Just an absolutely gorgeous fan, though. Wow. Weird. Huh. All right, well, I better put this somewhere you can't get it, or else you are going to freak out. Set it in there for now. We won't forget you. We'll grab you on the way back. Looking great in here. Cool. No holes. No ceilings falling through. Hey, smell my hand. Let's go get some more, huh? How about it? Come on. Here's some sign from this year. I'm not really expecting to find anything out here. There we go. Right through there. That was a really small grouse. It was a little too big for a woodcock, but that was definitely a young one. Anyway, I was saying we aren't probably going to find any uh, antlers out here. This really just isn't a heavily traveled buck area until the rut in the fall and then they'll move through here, but we don't have anything here that can really ground them to this area. You know, there's not a lot of good food. There's not a ton of great spots to sleep. You know, if they want, big bucks want to be out in the middle of a swamp on an island. This is all just a through fare to get from those swampy areas where they're laying down for the night to the food in the morning. Like I said, I haven't been over here a couple years to uh, really see this stand. It's definitely seen its better days. It'll work, but it needs some attention. Maybe I'll have to take it and get it spray coated before I put it up over there. Definitely gonna take the uh, shredded foam padding off. No foam padding going forward. 
So I forgot to mention that I got to be really careful taking this thing down. When we put it up, my dad held the ladder here while I climbed up and secured the ratchet strap. But when I did that, it pinched his foot or something and the whole thing started tipping over. So I jumped off into all these pines and I just bear hugged the pine trees and rode them down and then he actually got it back up against the tree. But that was a best case scenario for a poorly thought out plan. So hopefully this goes a little better than that. Oh, man, that is sh just shredded. Wow, that has really, really seen its better days. I'm going to need to take this back, I think, get it refitted and ready to go for the next season. I might have to wait to put it up until a couple weekends from now or this early fall before deer season. Oh, somebody's all worked up. Hey, chill out. You're going to call in the wolves. I don't know if that's true. That's just joking around. Thing I swear. They don't pay me, but I'm gonna say it. Go check out the silky hand saws. This is the pocket boy, it's a small one, but my word, this is the sharpest blade I've ever had. And once you have the handle, you can just buy the blades. Really, really well crafted. And as you can see, it was super sharp. Very excited to get my use out of this thing. All right, now for the important part, when this goes, which tree am I jumping into? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Kind of, not really. Okay. And we're free. I make jokes because I know we're secured to the tree down there. So I'm not super worried about it. Ah, man, I don't want to deal with those ones either. We're not wasting good rope, I swear. Okay. What's up, whiny? What's happening? Oh no, dad's coming. Whoa, there it is. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, hi buddy, hi, I made it. I made it, I know. Oh, I know. Was it so scary when I was up there? Was it so scary? Calm down, calm down. Oh my God, that's stuck in the water. All right. We're gonna have to come back for some of this when it thaws in the spring. Chill, stop it. Down, down. I have a blade in my hand, buddy. Can't be jumping. All right, let's get it started in here. And that black eyed peas. Does anyone even like black eyed peas? Come on, not the band, just the actual food. Ooh, that's rust. All right, should have thought about that. Yeah, I got it. All right, the GoPro died. My fault, I forgot to bring the batteries. They're in the backpack at the, at the cabin there. Max still just as excited as he was before. Um, so just wanted to show you guys before I get started on this awful walkout. This is how I move my solo stand. It's heavy and you gotta move it slow, but you can move it all in one. If you attach the, uh, the ladder rungs together at the front. And what I do is I pick it up and I rest this part on my shoulders. And it's just kind of a counterbalance game that you gotta get figured out and then you're good to go. So, as I was saying, this is the move. Get it balanced on you and you're good to go. 
no, it's not comfortable, but you can move it all at once. And now I'm getting pressured to get my move on by Mac. So we're gonna start sweating a lot and carry this out. All right, we are through the thick snow back on the trail. I am out of breath. As you can see, it's pretty thick. I'm pretty dirty and sweaty. This is a lot of work. Probably stop, maybe make breakfast, and then see if I want to tackle putting this thing up or walk out, wait till fall when I'll be able to see a better spot. We'll see after breakfast. There we go. I had some uh, egg sandwiches for dinner last night. Yes, breakfast for dinner with uh, some bacon cheddar bratwurst. These are from McDonald's Meat Market over in uh, over in uh, Clear Lake, Minnesota. They have maybe the best turkey jerky that I personally have had. Um, these sausages were good. They had um, they also had wild rice apple chicken sausages or something. I mean, yeah, we're talking really tasty stuff. Top notch. Oh, this needs to get turned out. That's so hot. Burning everything. Ooh, nice and toasty. Sweet, that's done. No. Okay, we kind of saved it. All right. Terrible idea. Oh, yeah. You joining me for for dinner? For lunch? Well, what time is it? I haven't even checked my phone. 1.30. That's a great time for breakfast. Why not? Oh, that looks so good. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's solid. <laughs> Needed that. <laughs> Go for it. You can do it. Mac. Good boy. Good boy. Time to put on the wet sweatshirt from getting the car out of the snow. Oh, this sucks. I almost want to take that other one home. Oh, you almost done with that plate, buddy? Oh, that's cold. Oh, and wet. I need to get back to that car and just blast some heat.
All right, after talking to myself like a crazy person for 10 minutes, I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna go get Mac on some more birds, head back to the car. I want to be able to put this up right now, but just in the condition it's in, I really don't think I can. I want to get this, I want to get this stuff off of here. I want to maybe put a, a rust prevention coat on it, and I just, I don't think I'm going to get all that done today. Really did not anticipate getting stuck in the snow for 45 minutes, so that might have hindered my, uh, my ability to get all this done. But we'll go find some more birds, hopefully, and walk back. And he still had a good day. Right, buddy? Oh, that's nice. Right for the camera. Yeah. So everyone can see. Something's in there. Oh. I'm not gonna get rabies today. Let's get out of here, buddy. <laughs> we don't need that. There we go. That was a big one. Where are we on that one? He's sitting right in here, right in between the snow where it's melted. That was a pretty decent sized bird. He took straight off through here. I was gonna say, up on this corner where it drops down to the wetland. I was expecting to see him down here, but right there. Hey, get in there, boy. You know they're in there. Where's the bird? Where's the bird? There's one, woodcock. Good boy. I hate that I did not have the camera rolling. We just had the biggest woodcock I have seen. Just jump up right in front of us and he was slow in the air for a couple seconds. I wanna see if we can get over here to where he landed. He's right over there. like a bull in a china closet right now. Go get him, buddy. Right there. Woo! Where's he right now? Go get him, buddy. Right there. Woo! Oh. All right. I got you. Hang on. Hey, stop it. I'll get you. You got it. There you go. Crazy. All right, we're back. We made it. That was a lot of walking. I don't know if I need to go through snow again, so we're probably gonna wait until it melts. <laughs> Wasn't kidding. I ain't wearing those home. Oh. Oh. Those are gonna need a little while. We do have more snow to get through. Oh, please let this work. Um, where does it look least deep? We're just gonna send it, right? That's what we do. Oh yeah, the Subaru does it. We did it, we did it. We don't have to get out after I already took my shoes off. That was a smart idea. Oh man. All right, well now we really did wrap this day up. We're out, we're out of here. We got a tired dog. How tired are you, buddy? You're over it. Okay. All right, until next time.